three people on. Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel where we do just about everything. God, family, friends, lots and lots of fun. Even some sad times, some hard times, some rough times. Here to share our journey through life with you. Mainly because I wanted to start helping others with their vehicles because I have owned a few vehicles that there were absolutely no videos on YouTube at all about. So that's what got me started. But having one of my dream cars is what motivated me to actually go out and do it. And uh, man, I, I kind of miss that car. But you know what? It's it's oof, it looks so good. But anyways, today what I wanted to talk about today is is something that I actually seen on TikTok, and uh, it's kind of like wow, wow, that's that's uh, yeah, I'm I'm on the right path. And so what what that was that I seen was a, a little video where a, a guy was talking and says you know what you you prayed to get out of that situation you prayed to do differently to change to have, to have God change your ways change things for you and well here I am making it I realize I'm making it on my unemployment, but I'm making it, and I don't, I don't wake up every single morning like, ah, oh, great, work, I gotta go into an office where I'm gonna be stupid depressed, where I'm gonna be down. I'm already going in with negative thoughts into the day, right? And I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. God took that away. He took that away because he has better plans. He's got bigger plans. And right now, this entire time that I've been laid off, I, I've been building my trust and my faith in the Lord. And it's, it, it's incredible. It's incredible the things that have happened since, since that day that he is like, you know what, Trevor, we're, you, you, you've done enough. It's, it's your time. And so, I, I wanted to, I, I, this hit me, that video hit me hard, and I wanted to be able to express it through my living, through my experience, not just that guy's, but through mine to, to hopefully reach you, because maybe right now, you have the hardest decision on your plate. And I'm going to tell you right now, the first thing you need to do is you need to pray about it. And you need to continue to pray about it until you know the answer. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that there are many things that I continue to pray about. And work is one of them. Believe it or not, I'm praying, I'm praying that God shows me the way every day. I'm like, Lord, take, take my hands and guide me. Show me what I'm meant to do. And every single time that I doubt myself, you guys, you guys, yes, you, 
right there dropping that comment down or clicking that subscribe button every time that that's just a reminder from God that Trevor you're on the right path you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you know I have these dreams I have these dreams of getting to be at a point where maybe I could help turn a small business into something bigger where they employ employees where I could start giving things away I would love to give cars away but maybe what if I gave away other things that people needed like a refrigerator, a washer, a dryer things like that a stove it's kind of kind of crazy but you know what it how many how many people out there myself included would rather use this old beat up washer that still works rather than go buy a new flashing one what if you had the chance to win one So I have I have these dreams and I, I pray about them and I I know I don't I don't know how I know but I know <clears throat> that one day somehow I will reach that point to where I'm able to say sell sell some merchandise like my hats my shirts my hoodies decals maybe get you guys entered to win something whatever it may be I mean I don't think your brake lights are on <clears throat> I know someday someday it'll happen and I, I put my faith in the Lord and my trust in the Lord that he'll help me if it's in his wheel in his will <clears throat> so just remember no matter what it is, pray about it. Be open to receive it. Be open to hearing his response. It's there. You might just not hear it. But he hears you. Oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> so don't get caught up in the well. So and so says that I should do this or I should do that. Don't get caught up in that. Because they don't really know what you should do. God does. Ask Him. Ask him what you should do. Say you're thinking about buying a new car. Pray about it. Pray about it. You got kids? They're struggling in school? Pray about it. Pray about it in front of them. Even better, pray with them. I'm telling you guys, it's... Life is so much better now. It, it's so much better. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely have my days of struggles. And I'm not shy. I, I'll share that with you. But you know what? On those days, I find myself talking to God more than anybody else. And, uh, I, I need to get to the point where I talk to God on my good days just as much as my bad days. You know, I'm getting there, we're getting there. You know, it's, it's progress. It's it's getting that, that routine of 
Oh no, uh, something just came up. Lord, what should I do? <clears throat> I mean, you know, it might not be like something you gotta take care of right away, but say you get a call and like, hey, um, there's this event, but it conflicts with something else, so well, send a prayer up and ask about it. If it's God's will, He'll help you. He'll make it easy. I'll show you the way. So, I hope, I hope and I pray that this reaches one of you. That this may be the turning point of your life. That you say, you know what, this is enough of the worldly thinking that I'm I'm going to let God in. I'm going to let God take control. And if that is this moment for you right now, I hope that you are filled with the Holy Spirit just as I am. Don't be afraid to comment down below. Say, uh, oh, what should we say? Let's say that this is my turning point. Amen. So I'm I'm always, always glad to help spark that little fire inside of somebody else to say, hey, I need this. And I'm not really the type of person to say I need help, so if you're that kind of person, that's alright. You can do it too. God's there. He's got you. He's got all of us. He's got me. And uh, one last little bit, I don't know why, I know why, I don't know who, but if you're a non-believer, which God's telling me you are, and it's okay, you ought to go get right with God. I don't want you left on earth when the rapture comes. And it's coming. I don't know when, but I I feel it, and it's it. I I don't know how to explain it, guys. I, I don't. It's this literally just came to me. So smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of them, drop them drop a comment down below. Let me know. And if this is your turning point, don't forget, comment, this is my turning point. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for clicking that red subscribe button. Or, thank you for considering clicking that red subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. And we will catch you guys in another video coming later this week. Have a wonderful Sunday.